Hi, welcome to Rick Snyder's Washington on YouTube, where you get the whole story. So like, share, and subscribe, and thanks. All right, today talking about some place, you know, when people come to town and, all right, you're going to take them to the Link Memorial and all these other usual tourist places. But people want to know, show me something cool in town. All right, let's take something. Exorcist Steps. I've talked about it before, but let's go over it a little bit. Uh, you know, the movie The Exorcist, do, 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 you know. Uh, was a, kind of based on a real thing that happened in Washington, at least supposedly. It was written about in the Washington Star by the religion writer, and some guy out in Hollywood saw it and thought, I'd make a good movie. Now, it was on the other side of town. It was actually a young boy, not a girl, with Linda Blair. Uh, but that's Hollywood for you, you know. <laughs> Never let facts get in the way of a good movie. So, I think I saw this when I was around 11 or 12. It didn't phase me at all. Today, it would scare the hell out of me. <laughs> but back then, eh. Well, one of the the final scene, and I'm not giving away a spoiler because this movie is 1973. So if you haven't seen it by now, it's on you. Um, you know, the devil jumps out of the girl and into the priest, and the priest doesn't want to be part of Satan, so he decides to kill himself, and that way he's released from the demon. And so he throws himself down these stairs and kills himself. Well, the stairs are the exorcist steps, as they're called now. There are 36th and Prospect Streets Northwest, which is Georgetown, right next to the car barn. And if you're down low on M Street, remember the old gas station just past the lights, um, where you just past the Key Bridge, basically. And the gas station's now been closed, and it's going. That's I understand they're going to put the uh, new Sky uh, crossings over into Arlington uh, and Georgetown. Uh, you're going to ride one of the gondolas across. Uh, <laughs> good luck. We'll talk about that another day. But the steps take go down from M Street up to the top, and they were built so workers could go down quickly. And this was built in 1895. They're still hauled up pretty well. The car barn itself is now part of Georgetown University, it's where they used to put the streetcars there at the end of the night and stack them up on this big thing. It's pretty cool. It's just around the corner from Georgetown University. And I take I I have walked up it at 75 steps, 25, 25, and 25. And a lot of Georgetown athletes and all uh, actually run the steps for conditioning on you. I, I have taken groups up it. They've threatened to kill me. Uh, and so I now go around a different way and we see it from the top. But um, the, in the movie, you know, the priest throws himself down. It, and what they did for filming is they put a half inch uh, foam rubber on all the steps and they filmed it twice, and I guess the stuntman after that said, mm, that's enough already. You know, you're risking your neck, literally. And the students at Georgetown, the buildings right above it, you could see all of this. They would charge $5 for people to watch the filming of it. So, hey, they teach entrepreneurship, I guess, at Georgetown. Good for them. So that's the steps. You know, you, people have said, oh, it feels so creepy. It feels like this and that. Well, but this isn't the real spot. This is just the movie spot. So, uh, you know. I don't see where the devil is hanging around there ready to get somebody. But devil, if you are, leave me alone uh, on there. But yeah, they built out where he crashed through this window. That window's not there. It was all made for the movie. But that's something cool that people will go, ooh, all right. You know, it's something you can stop by as you're walking through the neighborhoods on there. All right, so we'll do a lot of these because, hey, it's summertime. Maybe you got some friends coming into town, the Smithsonian's and memorials. You can only see them so much, I guess. Hi, right, I'm Rick Snyder for Rick Snyder's Washington. Thanks for coming. I'll see you again soon.